But we also have some, some new parts here today. Uh, first and foremost, I just wanted to show you it because it's awesome. <laughs> here guys is an auto tech engineering alternator this is their 240 amp version i am very very happy with this and on top of that they were able to make the custom powder blue look at this oh i love this this is the same color that i have on the wife's car here this is that tiffany blue color they actually had it in stock and i love it uh will you really get to see it not so much is it neat absolutely uh, i love that the actual pedestal stands off like so it does use a gm style connector but they do supply the jumper with it now i won't need this as i have jose vallecas on motorsports making me a harness that would plug directly into it so this won't be necessary but it's nice that they do include this so if you already have a factory setup no need to splice no need to do anything they give you the toyota connector on one end and the gm on the other so it makes it quite nice and it is a new alternator all coated and nice and it doesn't have to use a smaller pulley that is one of the biggest things so you're not required to put a different pulley on this or anything it drives fine so you don't have to worry about getting a custom belt or getting a different size belt don't have to worry about that i do like the fact too they come with this little sheet tells you the order number your part number the output rating at 650 rpms and then they tell you at 1800 rpms this should be about 240 uh at my idle which is 800 to a thousand so roughly mine's at a thousand and the wife's will probably be around the same too that's depending on your injectors and getting it to idle properly so on and so forth now some of you might be asking ryan why did you get this so in the audio world, guys get it because you got a bunch of speakers and all this stuff. For me, it's fuel pumps, it's electrical fans, all these things this car never came with and the factory owner just can't keep up. Now, another thing I'm most likely gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to run a larger cable to the actual fuse box and everything like that because right now I believe it's only four gauge and I'm gonna go down to a zero gauge, one zero as they call it, or zero one, however you wanna say, just to make sure we don't have any fires, I don't want any problems. Another thing they do say, make sure your battery's in good condition. If your battery's dead or low, do not try to use this as it could cause you a fire, you could have a bad day. So you wanna make sure your battery's up and running properly, you don't wanna let it get low. It could cause some issues that eh, won't be a fun time for you. So I did just go ahead and put on the stock alternator. So if you can see under here, I just have the stock alternator on her car. I'll lower this down here so you guys can get a better view there. But this is like, I wanna say it's 100 amps. So nothing crazy. Is the one I'm putting on a little bit overkill? Absolutely. But it's better to be safe than sorry when it comes to this. I won't have to worry about the fuel pumps ever. And uh, it gives me a little bit extra oomph, especially because running an automatic trans, the other fuel pumps, and then I'll be doing electric fans on this bad girl uh, with this badass coil radiator. I want to do a lot of side-by-side -side comparison here real quick, but uh, what is this? This is a... Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Don't let me down right now. What is this? What is this right here? I can't wait to hear in the comments. This is an ice, ice, ice gold keystone. Drink one right now. Just hold on. But anyways, back to the video. So here's the comparison. So one thing I'm pretty impressed with, I thought they were gonna have like this billet piece. Now I'm not saying there's wrong with this cast piece, but it's impressive for the fact that it is not the same as factory. So obviously they're getting it somewhere else. They're powder coating and doing all this work. Another thing that I noticed is it's actually slimmer. So if I look here from the side, it's actually smaller. Does that really matter? I don't know, but I, the smaller something could be nine times out of 10, the more room and access to have to say something else. So I do like that. Uh, the plugs and the way they're set at are on the same angle and same area. Uh, the offset of this is a little bit more, so this sticks out a little bit further than the factory one, but not by very much. So it's not gonna impede or hit anything. I do like that it has like this nice, I wanna say that's polished stainless steel lug. Has the nut already on it too. Again, I'll have to do everything here. Now this is a uh, factory GM connector versus obviously the Toyota connector here. That's an original Denso uh, alternator, and this is the AutoTech version. I want to notice something, or 
Something else that I noticed here, as you can see all the exposed copper, theirs is like coated in something, and this is black and this side's gray. I'm not sure if that protects it over time or whatever, and excuse my hands, they were dirty as I touched this and grabbed that. Uh, I don't know, but I think that's kind of cool that it's not exposed copper. I'm gonna take this one, put it down in the basement and keep it for now as a core. Uh, it's still good, but I, you know, hold on to something like this, God forbid I need it for my car, uh, which still has a factory alternator in it also. So I'm gonna take that downstairs. Another thing I, I wanted to mention if I didn't earlier, it does have a grounding lug. Now they include this when they have the powder coated versions just as an extra extra precautionary uh, just a little bit uh, you could put probably I don't know put an 8 gauge or a 10 gauge wire to that put it to the block put it to somewhere on the chassis of the car and just to make sure that it's grounded out um, just to give a little bit extra I'm going to do it just because I have the space and room to do it why not um, again you can see this uses the same if you look here side by side use the same exact gear here or wheel I should say I apologize not gear use the same exact wheel which is impressive. Again, I do love the color. So only thing I have to do next here is install it and see how it looks. All right, so now I've got the alternator on and just look at it. Look how it pops in there too. Now obviously the color is like the most in your face thing about it, but the thing for me and the biggest deal for me is the fact that I'll be able to have proper output now. So again, it's going from like 110 amperage to 240. Again, I just put this on here just to show you guys, that's a factory alternator line. I'm gonna have to upgrade it. I don't get a choice in this because I believe this is only four gauge and they prefer that you use uh, one zero gauge. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. I have this off and it's pretty easy. So it just runs through here. It'll It'll have to run up in between here, come down behind this headlight into your fuse box. Nothing really crazy in that aspect. Uh, I've already upgraded the line for the starter too. So only thing I really have to do is run that short line. And since this is all out right now, it's not really that hard to get to. It does fit down there perfectly. And like I said before, it is smaller. So I actually have more of a gap here than I had before, which I like because it keeps it away from this fitting. It allows me to get my wrench onto that fitting a little bit easier now. Um, yeah, actually, I gained some room, believe it or not, which is pretty freaking awesome. Um, I like that about it. Uh, yeah, I, it's an alternator. It bolts up, guys. What else do you want me to say? Until I get it up and running, it's, I'm not going to be able to see the difference. Once I get the ECU hooked up, you guys will see the voltage difference. Uh, again, this is a 15-volt setup, uh, 240 amps. Uh, again, it comes with the spec card there, which I showed you guys earlier. So pretty trick little setup. The one thing I want to speak on on top of this is this. So you guys know there's other alternator designers, makers out there, right? There is other companies that do this. What is the biggest difference in this? When you call, not email, not message, when you call, you get a person here in the United States that answers the phone. They have good customer service and that's the biggest thing that they wanted me to mention today. They strive for customer service period, end of story, that's what they do. And you know when it comes to the performance industry or anything in the aftermarket industry, that's usually where all these companies lack, right? That's just, it, it, it just, it is what it is because most of these companies are small, including auto tech engineering. They're not a massive company, but they're big enough that they, they strive to do the best. Um, so there's also always someone there to answer the phone and answer your questions. I don't know, to me, that's a big deal. Uh, I always prefer somebody that's gonna answer the phone for me when I need to. I hate waiting, you know, if I got a problem right then and there and I'm waiting and waiting and waiting. Obviously, if it's a weekend, there's nothing you can do. Uh, but during the week like that, they get back to you as soon as they can. And I really like that. Nine times out of 10, they answer the first time. Every time I've called, they picked up every time. And I've called four times now and I've never been put on hold. So to me, guys, that's a big, big deal. Another thing we're gonna talk about here today is uh, unfortunately, one of my little waterproof switches here broke. So you can see, no longer clicks in. I uh, went to get in it and it wouldn't lock anymore. Here's the new one, see how it goes in, it locks in place, the lock no longer works. Now these things are only like 20 bucks, but that's still an annoyance, you know, if that breaks on me like that, I am a SOL. So I think I'm gonna order an extra one just to have it on, um, I wanna call it reserve or whatever. Uh, my wife and I both use these, so it wouldn't hurt just to have them here just in case. Nothing crazy about them, but yeah, I get them off Amazon. You can see the new one here. The writing's a little bit different on this new, this is the old. The writing is a little bit different on the new one. I'm not sure if it's a new different company or whatever, but it looks slightly different here. So what I do have to do though, as you can see here, I shave down the one little edge here. So I have to shave down that edge and then I can install it. It's just the way I have it mounted in the car and that's just how I have to install it. So I'm charging up the old Odyssey battery now, but this is what I need to replace. It was bad on my 
on her or my car so i grabbed the one off her car and put it on yeah you guys get what i'm saying so i'm just charging it up right now again this is the odyssey battery setup i've made a video on this if you guys want to check it out uh, i did a pretty cool little setup on this i uh, then on her car my car mike bulk is doing this setup and then colton is also getting it uh, it's cheap effective and it works uh this battery bolt down comes from odyssey also yes it is on backwards right now and it's going to drive me crazy so i'm gonna have to flip that i'm also charging up the battery here too one thing again i want to make sure of if you have your batteries low when you go to start your car with those high output alternators it can cause some serious issues so you make sure your battery is always fully charged and good to go this one wasn't bad or anything but i just want to go ahead and give it a trickle charge it's sitting here not doing anything anyways why as well make sure that battery is good to go i know guys i've had a bunch of outfit changes here my beard's grown out again i'm just trying to get all these videos out as fast as i can yeah you saw the video if you need an alternator hit up auto tech I i'm very impressed i'm very again I'm just gonna go ahead and say this. I actually had to send my alternator back. And it's not a bad thing. I mean, it is what it is. It's, it didn't fit up and they got it back. They go, hey, you know, we had to mill down because they're using a certain, uh, I guess, I guess certain type. Literally sent me a overnight shipping label. Uh, this isn't like fully sponsored kind of deal either. So like, I'm not special in this aspect. So they sent me an overnight shipping label, got it back to them, inspect themselves, sent me a video saying, hey, here's what happened. Here's what we had to do. We wanted to let you know. Or, I just wanna make sure you're okay with this and we'll ship it back to you. Repowder coater fixed everything. Impressive, man. Like they really took care of me. Again, I am the fluke of this, but I wanted to be open and honest because this kind of just touches on the customer service end of things, what they want to promote. Like blown away how fast they're able to get back to me because now I'm able to get the car up and running sooner and sooner. Again, all the thing I really need right now is the is the harness from Kaizen. And once I get that, I'll be able to start checking things and yeah, I'm pumped because I know my wife really wants to drive it. Um, I still haven't shown you the girls really. I need to get that video out too. We just been, the twins have got us exhausted. But I digress guys. I'm gonna start working on the other video here. Thank you very much for tuning in today and I'll talk to you later. Peace.